it's not his job, in my opinion, to talk about what they're going to be doing as a football team. If I'm him and I'm having my first press conference and I'm addressing the media, I'm here to help the coach. I'm going to find the players to get the best players to put on the team and allow him to coach them up so we can win football games. I'm not going to, you know, I'm I'm, 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 lock in, yeah. I'm I'm lock and step with the head coach. And, you know, his job is to get Justin Fields ready. My job is to find people to put around Justin Fields. And that's it. That's what it is. It's not a, but you know, whatever. I mean, hey, everybody does it different. No, I'm nervous say, from that, Jay. I'm, why? I'd be nervous if I was a Bears fan. Why? Me too, uh, Max. Yeah. Super why? Nervous. Because I, I ain't never a hear look, that work out. I'm not a Bears fan like that. now that I'm yeah. nervous for them. Yeah. Well, there's, there's different ways to skin a cat. All right. And first off, skinning cats. I mean, that's what kind <laughs> of see this story? What? Okay. Jeez. All I'm saying is that I'm okay with him reading off a script to a degree. It was prepared. He put time and energy into that with his staff. Fine. The we're going to take the North, never give it back. Like, that's a Game of Thrones reference to me. Oh, right. Like, that's something I've heard before. Yeah, we are the North, right? Like, it's it's something I feel like he's 36 years old. Like, he's going to look at it a little bit. Did they say that in Game of Thrones? We're going to, I'm going to, did any character say we're going to take the North and not give it back? It just reminds me of never seen it, don't even know what it is. I've seen it. I've seen a ton of it. And like, we were good until the last couple seasons. That's all they talked about. Yeah. Right, so like for me, like I'm, I'm okay with that. Now you just have to go out, and regardless of what any GM says, Brian Dable could be up here saying all the right things or not saying anything. They lose or they make the wrong decisions. You're not gonna like Brian Dable. Like same thing with Ryan Poles. Like Ebert Lucy's your guy. Fine. Like let's see the, let's see the progress with Justin Fields. Let's see how the team continues to grow and the proof is in the pudding on the field. You, hey, Jay Key I, wrote news for both need- teams. Go ahead, keep, my, go ahead. I was going to say, I don't need my general manager speaking for the head coach about the product that's going to be on the field. Mm-hmm. I need him to speak about the product he's putting on the field or the product he's giving the head coach so that the head coach can be successful. I don't need him telling me anything about winning the North because guess what? It's my ass when I don't win the North and you know I don't else? own the North. You know what As else? He's you ever in notice, the bar. Jay, Jay, you know, okay, first set of all, you bar. root for both teams. You have interest in both teams, Giants and Bears, and two very different kind of introductions. Yes. And as a Giants fan, for the first time in a long time, right. I feel good about who the Giants hired, even based on the way they're talking. Plus, I don't know if John Mara would go pick Brian Dable up at the airport. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> but I, I would feel nervous otherwise, and I'll tell you why. There's, I think, a psychological phenomenon, and, and maybe people can relate to this in their own lives. When you're working on something, whether that's, I don't know, quitting smoking or working out or doing something at your job mm-hmm. or you're, it's something to do with an interpersonal relationship or a project, when you talk about it, like you start to make a little progress on it and you start talking about it, like, hey, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, usually to me, that's a signal that you're not, that, that you're not about it really or that not for long because it, it fulfills the same kind of psychic place in you that doing it does. The okay. talking takes the place of the doing. It releases some of that. It's like a safety valve releasing some of that pent-up steam that you should be using toward working on what you're talking about because talk is cheap. So, And I love Muhammad Ali, right? I don't mind. God, but when a GM, if that's a quarterback talking, I love it. When a GM gets up there, and starts talking about, we're going to take the North and not give it back. <laughs> exactly. I, I, it rubs me the wrong way, Jay. Why? Because we're of done. what I just said. It's like, it's yeah. like just do the job. You got work ahead. Yeah, he is going to do yeah. the job. Are you sure? It, 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 what do you I, mean, I, I am I sure? To, I need him to just do his job, and I need him to get so players funny. for the head coach, and I need the head coach to produce. And that's all. I don't need his press conference to sound like, First of all, yes, he can read from a newspaper, I mean, from a, a, a piece of paper, no question about it. It sounds scripted to me. And when it sounds scripted, I can't believe in it. It just doesn't doesn't tickle my fanny, so to speak. And so I'm sure other Chicago Bear diehard fans probably feel the same way, saying to themselves, uh-oh, what have we gotten ourselves into? Because much different than the Giants press conference, just much different. Way different, actually. Jay's a fan I, of both I, teams, I, so I'm, I'm not. I'm not worried about Paul saying we're going to take the North and never give it back. I'm more worried about what the hell he does with the personnel that's on this team, and the decisions that him and his coach make 
to further advance this team from where they are. You know, if you if like so, let like, me. Give I'm not going to draw a massive conclusion from we're going to take the North and never give it back. Like actually, a part of me likes that. I want to hear somebody from our organization speak things into existence and say, hey, this is the bar. But one one is focusing like the Giants have been very process focused, Understood. and this is. Uh, result oriented. What the last two weeks they've been very process focused for the Giants. That's but what you're no, saying. What, so now when, all of a sudden that I, we have no concerns about the Giants anymore. When, no, you no, were very not, concerned about John Mara Jay, like yesterday. It's, it's not that Jay. It's what they're <laughs> saying indicates to me the right state of mind. It's like and and I, look, we got to move on. But if if two people are I don't know quitting drinking or quitting some vice, right? And one of them saying, I'm never going to touch this again as long as I live. Yeah. And the other saying, I'm not going to do this today. I'm just trying to deal. You would say the one who's, you would have more confidence in the one who is process oriented than the one talking tough about what it's going to be. Okay. I think. But Jay doesn't. And Jay's the guy who has, um, who's emotionally I'll, invested I'll, in I'm, both these teams. I'm cool to see what happens next. Keyshawn, J. Will and Max is presented by Progressive Insurance. No, Jay, you must make grand sweeping conclusions <laughs> based on a few words right now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.